Welcome to another video tutorial. In this video, I will tell you which tense should be used in which part of a research article. So we usually know that there are different parts of research article. So among them, the first one is abstract. The second one is introduction. And uh, third one is material and methods. Material and methods. The fourth one is results. The fifth one is discussion. And there are also some other parts among them. Although it may vary according to journal to journal, but usually there are sometime conclusion is also known as summary. So uh, in today video, we will cover that which tense we should use in different parts of these. So uh, usually there are two tenses which we normally used in scientific writing. So the one is in present. One tense is present. And the second tense is past. So actually, uh, most of these parts like the abstracts, introduction, material and method, results and discussion normally uses both of these only introduction is the part which mostly use this present tense other all tenses mostly use this past tense so it mean it is only the introduction part which normally uses the present tense other parts like uh, abstract material and method research discussion and conclusion section usually deal with the past usually uh, past are of two types one is past indefinite it mean in this we use second form and sometimes we also use simple past what is the meaning of simple i mean we can simply use was or were with second form before we go further let me show you a table which can clear you that which tense should we apply so here you can see here are the different parts like uh, let me change its color like here is the abstract introduction methods results and discussion so we can see tense in different parts like in the abstract we mostly use past in the methods we also use past and in the result section we also use past in the conclusion section we also use past so mostly uh, the introduction and some parts of discussion are usually written in present so let me uh, take you to one example so that i can show you and you can understand clearly that what we should use in the different parts so uh, here uh, let me show you this article here is one of my recent research article so here is its title so you can see uh, here i have actually discovered a protein uh, that is uh, a putative subtilisin like serine protease one which actually regulates anther cuticle biosynthesis and panicle development in rice so you can see here is the addition of S or ES, which is showing that uh, always should be written in present indefinite. Why? Because mostly when we are writing a research article, we should only consider our audience. I mean, uh, let's suppose uh, you can consider that someone is sitting in front of you who is reading your article and you are just telling that story to your reader 
so in this way you can have a good picture of your research article and you can imagine that yes really someone is listening to me or someone is reading me because this research although was uh, done in the past but it is still valid that is why it is still used in present indefinite so i mean those uh, parts although which were which were done in the past but they are still valid in the present so then uh, you can use present indefinite so uh, let me now take you to the first part that is the abstract we usually know that the abstract should be written at the end of the uh, end of the experiment i mean when usually you have finished your other parts like uh, introduction material and methods and results and discussion so usually you uh, you should write this part at the end of all of these parts so uh, here we can see like causes from here you can see that which tense we are using we are using simple present tense and uh, here we can see the isolated mutants so we can also we are also using past indefinite tense and uh, here you can see uh, because when we are referring to the uh, methods furthermore comparative rnsa and relative expression analysis were performed to get further insights so it means you can while writing material and methods i will also explain this thing later on that when we use uh, material and method section we should write in past with simple was and were so uh, let me now take you to the next slide that is the introduction so while writing introduction we know that all the introduction mostly cover in the simple present tense are the simple past tense why the simple present tense all those things which are universal and still valid which are universal and still valid i mean all those discoveries uh, which are still valid you can use uh, simple present tense like in this example i can show you uh, the panicle is a reproductive organ i mean this is like the universal thing so we use simple uh, tense which directly determines we can see this is simple present indefinite i mean it is still determines the grain yield various genetic and environmental factor regulates so it means so we are mostly using the simple present tense so when we are referring to the previous studies then we can say like this that previous studies we can we can write like this like previous studies reported that we can see now we have changed to past simple i mean past indefinite tense because all those genes which were uh, previously discovered they are also still valid so we can see aluminum al malate transporter controls the panicle development although it was discovered previously but it it still controls the panicle development like this so that is why we use uh, simple um, present tense in the next part most of the parts uh, of material method should be written like was were i mean like simple simple past or we can also use second form of verb we can also like uh, you can see the panicle mutant was derived i mean it was we can I, i have previously told you that we can simply use was and were with second form or you can only use second form like here you can see in the second heading the scan electron microscopy was performed because this part you have already done and your experimentation has already been finished so that is why you use this part as past in the next section uh, you mostly you use this part as the past tense but you can also use sometime present tense well here you can see uh, apa 1331 displayed the aborted apical spikelets so it mean this is uh, my mutant name displayed me this is actually the past tense because it showed and from here we can say at maturity apa 1331 it also showing that we are using past tense but here we can see uh, had significantly lower seed yield the panicle started it is still using the past tense to differentiate uh, apa 13 to show 
because we always uh, use first form after two there should be uh, always first form after two so uh, here we can see further uh, like this various agronomic traits like various agronomic traits number of branches weight did not show any significant difference in the okay, because we are referring to the uh, figures because figure 1 d similarly like other parts of figure so we can also use this type of analysis and let me take you uh, to the next section which is the discussion section discussion section uh, until now we know that our results have already been discussed so we mostly refer uh, them those results like our results showed that like in mean in this part most of the sentences start because our results showed that showed that this like whatever the statement which imply that yeah which suggested which suggested what suggested following thing one two three so mostly we use past tense but sometime we also have to use like the present tense or the future tense when we also sometime we have to mention the future perspectives then we can also use this future tense so uh, let me show you so and a study has indicated i mean we sometime we also use uh, the past indefinite so it depends on the story what you are seeing it was also stated that i mean because we are uh, referring to our previous results so that is why we are using this past tense so uh, similarly we can most of the parts also use uh, here we can see subtilis and like green protease was cloned so i mean we are using simple past tense so uh, here is the summary uh, because summary sometime also known as conclusion although there is a difference uh, which i will not cover in this video but uh, uh, here we can see um, how we uh, write mostly we write uh, summary or the conclusion in the past section because we can see in summary our results revealed that i mean whatever we presented before they reveal something that subtilism uh, like serine protease is essential to control the excessive outburst of ROS and programmed cell death. So here you can see that because we have identified the function of this gene, although we have identified, so uh, it should be written in the past, but we are not writing in the past because uh, this, uh, this function, although was uh, discovered in past, but it is still valid. That is why we are using that is why still we are using simple present tense with is a mutation in subtilism like serine proteases causes dysregulation so it means we can also use simple present tense so uh, while writing a research article most of the tense which we usually use is present and past uh, while referring to the past results you can mention the past sentences and uh, what you have concluded from those results you can use uh, simple the present tense in this way uh, hopefully now you have a better idea that how we can use uh, these tenses on our research article so if you like the video uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching bye bye